who are we? Where are we going? And why are we so divided? Hi, everyone. Mike Wilkerson here. I'm excited to announce the release of my new book, Why America Matters, The Case for a New Exceptionalism, uh, launching in late October 2022. This is an important and timely book on a subject that everyone is invested in. Not only Americans, but anyone around the world who cares about the future of liberty, democracy, and human flourishing free of tyranny. Why America Matters confronts the most important questions facing our nation today and argues that the place America, Americans call home is unique and worth fighting for. Why America Matters reveals how the nation faces four crises. First, extraordinary circumstances such as inflation and recession, China's foreign interference, mass illegal immigration, and deep political and social divisions. Second, uncertain identity with confusion about fundamental things like, what does it mean to be American? What does it mean to be a man or a woman? Or things like patriotism and prioritizing American interests above uh, globalism bad? Third, corrupt and failing institutions that have created an environment in which we no longer trust them and they no longer trust us, all leading to the fourth crisis, confused engagement, where many Americans don't know who is sovereign, the state, or we the people, and where our country's leaders don't know how to navigate an increasingly hostile global environment. The widely held beliefs of past generations that America is special with an extraordinary role to play in the world has never been more challenged. The idea of America has been undermined by external adversaries who want to see America weakened, by radical ideologies hostile to fundamental American ideals, and by a lack of vision amongst a leadership class that no longer considers serving their citizens to be a priority, especially not if it gets in the way of their power. The idea of America is under attack, yet many of our wounds are self-inflicted. Powerful forces within our country hostile to the ideals of America seem to be winning. These agents are busy rewriting America's history, undermining its institutions, silencing and then erasing the views of those who don't agree with their radical narratives. And all the while, America's foreign adversaries prey on our division and our confusion. Now, while it's true that America is in a terribly difficult position, I argue that America is neither uh, de declining nor dying, but it's in a winter season. Now, it's true that winter can feel dark and cold and death-like, but it's a natural process, indeed one that is necessary for regeneration and rebirth. Like winter, our current political and social crises can be the fertile ground for national springtime and renewal, a process the nation has gone through before in times of uh, national division, depression, and war. Now, while the country has never been more split on partisan, cultural, and ideological lines, at least not since before the Civil War, there is a path to find the unity and the vigor necessary to confront the nation's uh, challenges in the 21st century. To achieve this, Americans must recognize and reject false ideologies and outright lies, resist surveillance and tyranny, take back their communities, their schools, their families, and assert their enshrined rights to free expression, including speech, worship, and peaceful protest, and the right to privacy. Outside our borders, America can afford neither a return to the isolationism of the 19th century, nor a continuation of the failed interventionism and endless wars in Afghanistan and Iraq that marked the last 20 years in which the current administration is under, undertaking in, in Ukraine, risking a global war. A third way, a new approach to foreign policy is required. America must confront and overcome the increasingly hostile threat posed by China, by Russia and others, while acknowledging that America first is both rational and necessary at home. However, we cannot protect others' borders if we can't even defend our own. And we can't defend ourselves if we don't have a rational energy policy. The world long recognized that America was great because America was good. America's founding ideals, timeless values, and distinctive national character are needed now more than ever. But we can't simply go back to the past. A new century requires a new vision of American greatness. Why America Matters points the way to a new national renaissance. You'll find a link in the show notes below to whyamericamatters.com where you can learn more and order the book, which will be available on Amazon and bookstores, retailers around, around the country. 
Thanks for spending a few minutes with me. If you enjoyed the preview, please do give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the Stormwall channel on YouTube and sign up by email at stormwall.com to receive regular posts on, on all the media that I produce on this and other uh, important subjects. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.